Hello, my name is Matthew Mabry, and this is your introduction to the seventh grade life ed curriculum rewrite for 2024-2025. All right, you are going to love this document. In fact, if you haven't already, you need to come up to one of your bookmarks up here and bookmark it because it tells you what's up for the entire year. Here's how you break it down. All this color coding right here links the engaging experiences to the strands and the curriculum. Oh, what am I looking for? The, come on, Mabry. Standards, there we go, the curriculum standards. We lumped all of them. I mean, they're in the curriculum resource doc on the district website, but in general, we've got personal health, mental well-being, academic health, healthy relationship, and all of your counselor lessons. Now, if you're thinking, holy crap, 35 of these experiences from August to May, that's way too many. Well, check this out. I counted up how many life eds we did at Walden for seventh grade in 2023, 24, and we had a total of 87. Now, when I looked at these 35 lessons spread throughout all these different months right here, that left a total of 52 that were quote free for surveys, for study hall, for having whatever you want in your life head. So if you're doing your math, that's roughly one third are scripted and two thirds aren't. And I want to remind you, these 35 do include your counselor lessons and Character Strong does not happen at an independent time. These lessons are now embedded in bits and pieces and all of these engaging experiences. So I don't think 35 is really all that bad. So here's a quick um, lead through here. So for academic health, at the start of every quarter, we have a lot of goal setting and a lot of norming and forming for the beginning of the year. And then otherwise, it's basically just the start of every single quarter we were, we're wanting you to revisit. The goals that you set, and since sixth grade is really focusing on SMART goals in seventh grade, we're layering SMART goals along with the PDSA. And notice, this is the money column right here. This gives you the actual links and documents we want everyone to use across the district. Um, then if we look at the mental well-being, in September, we're naming and taming emotions, stealing the best from Character Strong using this lesson. We're having, we're focusing on stress in November and December. And then what I really like here is check this out. We are just revisiting stress here and here since stress exists throughout the entire calendar year. And what's cool is for these lessons that were created for you, they're recalling the same slides, but they're meant to be just a quick pop in. Let's talk how is stress going? Um, you also notice here friendship, which is a blue unit. Um, but we had a embedded here, so we had we did blue text inside the green. Um, this is also a pop in with how are we doing with our relationships um, in fourth quarter and third quarter? Okay. Then also in healthy relationships, we're talking about empathy. We're talking about bullying because it's Bullying Awareness Month in October. We revisit those as we come down, and there's bullying and cyberbullying picking up here in the end of April. And then for personal health. We really emphasize our pers personal health experiences at the start of quarter. So at the start of quarter two, we have drugs. At the start of quarter three, we have more drugs. And then at the start of quarter four, we have our three consecutive sexual health experiences. Sixth grade is all about body changes and puberty. Seventh grade, it's everything sexual health. So you become, can become a functional adult. Um, if you have any questions about any of these links, please contact Jamie Fadre, myself, Matthew Mabry, or Nicole Swanstone. We are the ones who are really hands-on. Um, but I think you guys are going to love this document. All right. Thanks so much for listening.